Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Nazmus Kandiker and today we're checking out Windows 10 Mobile Build 14926. This is the latest Insider Preview Build for Windows 10 Mobile as of this recording. And you can see my red glance screen is here. It, I, it turns red when it's at uh, after 10 p.m. So I'm going to double tap to wake the screen. And you can see my lock screen. I'm going to slide up to sh uh, unpin the thing. And we're going to we're going to check out what's new in this episode. So please, guys, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more awesome content like this. I really appreciate it. So let's log in. All right, guys, I'm inside Windows 10 Mobile. And let's check out the new features in this build on Windows 10 Mobile. We have, oh, actually, it's kind of bright here, isn't it? So let me turn the light off so we could focus on the screen better. Give me a second. All right, folks, I turned the light off. Now everything's more clear. You could see my screen here. Uh, there's my photos um, and there's a store app. So let's check out what's new. The first thing that's new is the sound settings. So this was uh, new in a couple builds ago, but since this is the first video I'm making about Windows 10 Redstone 2 mobile builds, I'll show you the sounds, the new sounds and ringtones that are uh, that came with Windows the, 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 the new build. So in Redstone 2, basically. So I'm going to go to personalization, sound. So basically, uh, now with uh, there are some new sounds that have come uh, in place uh, that replaces some old sounds. So this is the Microsoft ringtone that's new with this build. This I believe this is available in the this was already available in the newer Lumia such as the Lumia uh, 950 XL, 950, 650, and 550. I was about to say 550, but yeah. I, but I think this build um, the actually a couple builds ago the Redstone 2 brings these sounds to all Windows phones whether or not they're Lumias or not, and including older Lumia phones. This is the Microsoft ringtone. Sorry. So that, that was the Microsoft ringtone. This actually, I guess, um, replaces the Nokia ringtone in the newer Windows phones. But uh, the good thing about um, uh, this update is that uh, it replaces the stock Windows, some of, most of the stock Windows phone ringtones, but it doesn't replace your carrier or firm or manufacturer ringtone. So anything that came with this phone from the manufacturer or the carrier stays. So I got to keep my Nokia link ringtone. So there's some other uh, ringtones there that you could check out yourself. Um, they're the old ones, but there's some nice ones that um, that are worth mentioning. And one of them is, I believe, oh, actually, there's some new alarm sounds as well. So these are some new alarm sounds. Oh, actually, this is Windows email. So these are, I guess, these are sounds that are available in earlier versions of Windows 10 for Windows 10 Mobile. There's the messaging sound. That's Windows email. Or Windows voicemail. And that's a Windows calendar. And uh, and one of them, is, okay. So let's check out some another new sound. So these are um, these are different. Oh, it's hard to click this play button. These are different messaging sounds that are new. That are with new new new. These are different messaging sound. I can message two, message three. These are notification sounds that are new here. Actually, not all of them. Some of them are part of uh, the firmware that came with my w er, Windows phone, and some of them are actually new. So this was, I believe, this I believe was already there on my old phone. But um, but some other things like Epic Day is completely new. Clock 2 is new as well. I can't click the... Clock 1 is new. Torchbearer is interesting. It actually sounds like it's, it's passing on the baton from Nokia to uh, Microsoft. So this used to be the original Nokia alarm alarm sound. Default alarms on, uh, on, on old Nokia phones before Microsoft took over.
And this is actually the Microsoft's version of it. it it's like a remix of the original song, and uh, it's called Torchbearer. So I guess this is a symbol of Microsoft taking in the torch from Nokia. There's another one. Oh, no, sorry, that's the same one. Sorry. Ahead of time, this actually counts to five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. This this. this Some nice uh, sound effects here as well, soundscapes. Early chill sounds nice. Bird sounds. That's an original Windows Phone sound. But yeah, you can see there's there's lots of um, Windows Phone sounds here. That sound effects from ancient Nokia phones that Nokia used to keep even in their smartphones back in the day before Microsoft took over. It's nice. But yeah, there's some um, there's some, uh, what do you call it? Um, But yeah, these are some of the ringtones that you could see here, guys. So it's pretty interesting. Just wanted to show you guys the new ringtones. That's all. Um, there's also notification sounds. So if I go to... Um, I wish I could show you guys that. Let me... So whenever a notification comes, back in the day, it used to do ding ding. Now it does something different. If I, let me see if I could find it for you guys. It's... Um, but anyway, if it it just... It, it, it does a similar notification to the ones in Windows 10 for PCs. So yeah, there you go. I should I should create an app that triggers the manual notifications for stuff like this. But yeah, anyway, let's talk about the, check about the, talk about the other features. So another feature here is if I go to system, actually, if I go to um, network and wireless, if I go to Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi is now part of the Windows 10 settings app. So I, I'll, I'll I'll change the color theme to bright dark, uh, light color so you get gets good could see you guys could see better so colors I want to switch to the light theme switch to the light theme there you can see better now so if I go to network and wireless let me focus Wi-Fi now Wi-Fi is not part of the Windows 10 settings app it's actually part of the same app so so if you're in continuum and stuff you could see a better Windows 10 settings view. It's like it's, it's it's the same app. It's part of the settings app. Before before today, uh, we had Wi-Fi Legacy. It used to be called Wi-Fi. Now this Wi-Fi app is actually based. It's actually literally the Windows Phone 8 Silverlight based Wi-Fi settings app. So this would actually launch pressing Wi-Fi before this build would launch uh, a separate Windows Phone 8 Wi-Fi thing. And it would take you out of the settings app, and it would not scale well to Continuum. So let's take a look what Wi-Fi, the old Wi-Fi looked like. So there's Wi-Fi Legacy. We click it, and it opens up. You can see the animation. It opens up to a. You can see there's the old settings app, and there's the Wi-Fi thing. Now this is the Windows Phone 8 thing. You could check by. Uh, although they redrew some of the uh, controls to be Windows 10-like, it's actually Windows Phone 8. If I press and hold. Um, 
this stuff is actually Windows Phone 8. I can't, I, you don't see any text highlights because Windows Phone 8 didn't have any hover system. So again, these are all Windows Phone 8 stuff. You click here, can connect. Oh, and there's more options if I go further. Um, static IP, that's, that's not it. Um, let's see if I go to Wi-Fi Sense, learn more. But yeah, this is the old Wi-Fi stuff. If I go to uh, Wi-Fi Sense, you could see they redrew this control, but it's actually the Windows Phone 8.1. And if I Wi-Fi for you, so again, let's compare this to the other Wi-Fi. So if I go to Wi-Fi here, we have the, this Wi-Fi, there's this Wi-Fi. And if I focus camera, Okay, so if I have this Wi-Fi and switch down, you can see the other Wi-Fi, two Wi-Fi's. And again, this is part of the settings app, whereas this is actually Windows Phone 8 app. And you can see if I scroll down, the, 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 the banners are all messed up, doesn't look that good. Um, also, if I, uh, if I click something here, for example, if I to click here, can connect, let's try clicking here. The password system is different, like the way you type the password. Is different than the one the way you do it on the new Wi-Fi if I click if you touch it it doesn't automatically connect you have the option just like in Windows 10 to have, have a check boxes connect automatically and you say connect let's try connect here and ask you the password for the password in line so when I go back to my own network so we're connected so there you go there's the new Wi-Fi and finally oh Okay, this look. Uh, my live tile looks terrible in the white theme. Let me get back to the dark theme. Dark, dark theme. All right, I'm back in the dark theme. Now, another new feature here is now you could replace a, your standard text messaging app with Skype. So that way, that way you could have uh, see your see and send your text me messages from Skype. The benefit of that is now that means if you get a new text message SMS, you'll get a notification on your PC if you have Skype installed or if you are using Skype on the PC. And you could use Skype to directly send your text messages messages by typing your message on the Skype and pressing send, and si the Skype will relay the message to your phone, and will send it through your phone. But you could do it from your computer. And to set that up, once when you first open Skype Preview, make sure to update the app from the store. And it'll ask you to set uh, Skype as your default messaging app. And if you want to change it in the future, you could always go to System, Messaging. And the bottom, it says Default Apps. My app, mine's set to Skype Preview. But you could again switch it back to Microsoft Messaging. Now, even if you switch your default, it just shows it. It just means that the uh, text message will will notify you. The notification for the text messages will appear. For the default app, but you could still use the other app uh, to do your text messaging. So even if I have Microsoft Messaging it uh, the default, you could still use Skype to send text messages. Also, you could also use uh, the messaging app to send text messages, even if you have Skype. So let me let's open Skype and see how it's like. I'm gonna open Skype. This is Skype. It's loading, and you could see I have several releases coming. Then these are all text. Some of them are text messages. For them, this is a text message right there for messages that I, I got earlier. This is a random number that uh, automated text messaging um, rather than showing your personal information. I went to this one, but you could send and receive text messages here. See, as it says here, type, a, type an SMS message. So that's, there you go, that's very cool. So there you go, guys. I believe that's all the feature for now that's new to Windows 10 Mobile. If there, for future builds, inshallah, when it comes out, I'm going to be, I'll try to be the first, one of the first to show you guys um, what's new in the future build so you don't have to take the risk of installing these builds yourself So if you like the content make sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. So thank you guys and have a good one. Bye. Bye